Hey, this is JJ with Deluxe Vehicle Detailing and Paint Correction. I'm going to take you up on the ladder with me and uh, show you some of the results I'm getting. Uh, I'm kind of doing a, a panel at a panel of a time. I think you can probably see those vertical lines there. They're about, I don't know, about three foot, maybe uh, 36 uh, uh, wide. I'm doing half a panel at a time. You can see my blue tape. Let's go on up here. Forgive my shakiness. I'm going to put you at my point of view, which I don't know how much I'll blind you. Bear with me. I'll try and edit this out as best I can. So here we are. On this side, I hope this shows up some. I've got my uh, Astro uh, 50 SL. This is a, I think a 98 on the CL factor, which 100 is like the sun. I'm hoping that you can pick up. There's actually a scratch line here. There's actually a scratch line here. There's actually a scratch line here. So I've done this tape uh, to give myself where the bottom line is, the middle line. I've got another line and I actually have a top line. There's four separate scratches here. So if we come over here, I hope I'm not blinding you too much in the sun. You can see that I managed to get, I would say, 80% off here where I have done this first panel. I have done two steps on this and when I say steps these are fairly quick light passes. I'm going to show you here with the roof has uh, this has a uh, five millimeter uh, throw on it. It is small but this is the Millet. This is the direct uh, drive from Rupes, but you could be using any DA. Go to Harbor Freight, get yourself a little $50 eight millimeter dual action polisher, pick up some pads, go to Detailed Image or many other sites. You can check some out. So here's how easy this is, right? I've got my, my top scratch, my medium scratch, my third scratch, and my fourth scratch. Now, I'm just going to rub some of this. I'm using a Sonex Perfect Finish with an HDO Lake Country pad. This is a medium aggressive pad. The client and I talked a great deal about not looking for perfection with this, not taking off a lot of paint. I'm getting no transfer. Hope you can see that okay. I'm getting no transfer on this pad, so I believe it to be uh, a baked enamel. It could be a single stage, but, but uh, it could be uh, uh, also, I'm, I'm not 100% if I do have a baked on clear coat on this. It could have it. Um, I wish I'd have really talked to the uh, manufacturer and I still may do that just to get a little more information. But I'm, uh, I'm going least aggressive method to most aggressive and I'm getting good results. This, this panel here, there's still touch of scratch left, but you know what? We're not looking to uh, abrade and uh, level a lot of this. So I'm just gonna show you how easy this is. This is on speed four uh, out of five. I'm gonna drop it down to three and a half. So spread your product out. Usually I do spread it out on one. Okay, that's just to get the product spread out, right? So now I'm gonna go to three and a half, about one to two seconds per inch, medium pressure. Um, at the top of my ladder, I can't even put that much pressure. I'm just letting the weight of the machine and giving it, a, would say probably two to three pounds of pressure.
I do like to finish the passes a little quicker in the opposite direction. I have my Rust-Oleum body solvent on this to clean the panel immediately of any excess residue. And voila, are there still some scratches? They're very, very faint. I don't know how well you'll be able to pick up on this, but if you can see where I have not done anything on this, and then we come here, maybe not real close to the tape, but if we come here, virtually gone. So that's all you need to do. I thank you for being with me. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and uh, I appreciate you being with me. Thanks a lot.